Well, what's the crack? You're all very welcome. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in, downloading, streaming, whatever you're doing to Buckshot episode 64 for Friday the 29th of June 2018. What in the jizz are you up to? I'm keeping this short and sweet because obviously I had the ramble pods now on Tuesday for all the shy talk and everything else. Uh, tune in all the time. All the time. Fair play to you for sticking in with all the barbecue pictures. Man, I'll be getting some amount of stuff over the week the week gone. Fair fucking play to you. The revolution is on. Barbecue and the living bejizz out of it. And I see you're going to go stone mad this weekend. It's supposed to be another fucking roast or send you on as much as you want. I'm after getting a few messages about bar- about recipes for stuff like that. Fuck it if you want. I did a couple of nice things to throw up an old picture or two. Not, not barbecue related. I'll... I did the chops all right, but sure, I mean, there's no big in that, and I talked about that earlier, but let me know, let me know if you want to hear more of, of recipes of shite. Jesus, I wouldn't have thought so, but if you do, if you do, no bother, drive on with the, the questions, no problem, the hate is still there, it is still there. Anyway, this week's guest uh, is a fantastic, I met this guy a couple of years back, we get into it, how we met and all the rest of it, in the way of, of pilots and stuff like that we're talking about, his name is Jay Abbey. You may remember him from the show California uh, with some crack uh, over at his gym. The same gym I recorded him with Gordon Hayden back in the day. Um, and he's partnered with uh, Leanne Moore and her her husband to be, David B. And may as well interview Dave as well because he was on made trifecta of Go Gyms. Basically, we got into it about how California, how mental it was at the time and all the rest of it. His fucking life as a stripper. I mean... <laughs> It's fucking unbelievable. Wait, you hear this? It's ridiculous. Um, he, yeah, basically how he loves car, how he ended up buying a car from who he thought was a famous Chris, but was it the totally wrong Chris? Jesus Christ, another classic of a story. And just, just about fucking bullshit in general, just a mental life. And just, oh, I laugh me bollocks off the whole way through this. I just hit record and Jay just went for uh, an hour fucking spin. And I'll spin for about an hour and 15 minutes. Anyway, so please enjoy the fantastic J. Abbey. The podcast was running away before the show even started. So to intro, just to, I'm going to intro, intro you before this. But what did you say your man's name was? We're talking about a, uh, a mate of yours who's an oh, eccentric yeah. so, billionaire. So billionaire, Class Awards is his name. What a great name. Yeah, he's his name is Class. Cla- yeah, Class Awards. <laughs> it doesn't get much cooler. But he's one of these guys and like he just... The energy and it's fu- it's just so it's so fun to be around. How do you know? meet? Uh, uh, so we have a mutual friend who uh, who 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 grew up literally two or three doors up from me. Right, where I grew up, obviously in in, in Springfield and Halle. And he this 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 friend of mine was a real nerdy type guy. Yeah, but he got really into the likes of uh, biomechanics and right. biometrics and stuff like this, you know. And he just ended up getting. He ended up being uh, all of a sudden in this circle of unbelievable wealth and knowledge. Yeah. But he had the knowledge. Yeah, so all yeah, these yeah, guys yeah, just yeah. fed off him. And then surely he just would in he he'd be he'd meet these guys and these guys were, were, were taken by him because he was like obviously He's probably ahead of the curve too, I suppose. Exactly. Like, he was just one of these guys who just got it. He was, yeah. he, was he studied algorithms, like matrix type stuff, you know, and he'd just get it. You yeah. know, so and of course, so then all these guys want that type of person in their life, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyways, they became up with this mutual friend, and this this guy uh, class. Anyways, they both met at a party, and because they're both kind of eccentric in their yeah. own way, they just they just clicked. kind of clicked. And then I, I I'm this guy's kind. Of, I'd be one of his best friends, so I got introduced, and of course, because I was car mad. Yeah, my mate wouldn't be really into cars, but it was kind of like, oh, by the way, this is class, and he owns a scary. And you'd be familiar. Right. What I think just to throw out there, like, yeah, and yeah. he owns and, and of course, racetrack. yeah, and of course, I'm a big Top Gear fan, and all that was going through my mind was, surely this is not the same guy who who invented like the the Scary A10, which if you go back to like I think season nine, the eight the Scary A10 was the fastest car around the Top Gear racetrack. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's a freak of a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a mental yoke, you know. Yeah. So and of course, classes. Class, well, well, I remember when the first time I met Class, and I was like, he said, "Well, I've had." And it's so everything just flows out of the man, like you know. I've had imagine Lamborghini. the level of self, like, but without <laughs> being egotistical, the yeah, level yeah. of self confidence that oh, must yeah. be like. And you just and it's funny because I, I love being around them because you go home and you're like, I have to make my life better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my God, I have to make my life better. You, you know, never, you could see Course, that. Like, like you know, I met a billionaire once, and he, the guy was wearing a silk dressing gown. 
in the middle of the day walking outside <laughs> his house like yeah and but the, the nicest bloke you'll ever meet because he just had no hang ups on anything like he was no. out of shape but he was wearing his jocks no, and a silk dress it's their, it's their way of thinking is so outside of yeah. the box yeah, yeah. that it makes you go whoa Anything is possible. Whoa, I, I could do it. Yeah. I, I, if I could just have a chicken you know, life like, outside you, the you box. You meet rich yeah, people yeah, yeah. in Ireland and, and, they, and they all seem to have similar traits. You know, you, you they buy the same cars, they go to the same type of places. Yeah, of but then you meet this eccentric billionaire guy. I make my own cars. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly, that's, that's, that's exactly the way he came up. He was like, you know what? I could buy any car I wanted. I was like, no, I want to make my own super car. <laughs> you know, but then, and then he took it this, this step forward. Or he was like, well, now I want to have my own racetrack to race my own supercars. And they were like, I remember his, uh, Martin was telling me, and they were like, my God, like when he did, they were like, 50 million was the quote he was given to, to make this uh, the scary racetrack right. up, in, up in the run, the hills in, in, in Marbella. And uh, it was just like, class, you're probably never going to get a return on this. Ah, somewhere for my friends to come and play. Oh my god! And it's just he's just what like I say. It's a great place. I like it's it's unbelievable to go out there and like you know. But it, like I say, from from me, it it just stimulates your mind to, as to what's possible. But sure, even like, just what read, is the norm? Even like, reading reading uh, Elon Musk's Twitter feed, you go, Jesus Christ! I could do more of myself here. Like, cause yeah, this guy's yeah. just a normal dude who's yeah. Willy Wonka of the oh, future world. Basically, basically like. even his story is just like everyone's like cast hell, and he's so many stories like you know. Like his friends, like I, I, I was at Scary one time, and uh, I'm there. And I'm kind of like, why, why do I recognize this guy? Like, yeah. because I, I, I'm just kind of, I'm trying to be invisible because to blend in because I know I'm, I'm not yeah, yeah, out yeah. of my depth. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah. Mm, I'm just gonna kick this tire and, and hope nobody. <laughs> and if somebody asks you for a drink, you will go get <laughs> yeah, it for yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> you're just gonna run. Like, of course, you know? yes, yes. So I'm looking over. It was so funny because then I was like. Like, why do I know that guy? And then, of course, class is like, uh, Jay, listen, y- y- we're going for dinner at six, you know, um, our guests are over, and I'm kind of like, okay. And I'm kind of like sitting at the dinner, and I'm saying, oh, God, what am I going to talk about at dinner? Yeah. You know, like, with these people. Because then I realised who the guy was. Oh, only Antonio Banderas. I stop. Yeah, of course. Stop. Like, like, he's just over. Boots oh, yeah, like, you know, I'm like, going, okay, so this is going to be like, <laughs> what am I going to talk about Fuck. at dinner? Like, you know, and of course, his wife was there. Who was it? Was Meg Ryan? Yeah, of uh, course. And I, I'm just like, well, what do I talk? And we come to the end of the table, and we've got uh, Jay. What, what does you do again? Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's 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 been a, it, like I say, it makes you think I can do more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and it's great. Like it does. It, he's always made me uh, think like, man. I should be doing more of my life. But you, you bought know? the 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 AMG. Oh yeah, so he got yeah, so he got a car. He he got a car from me, and he was like, um, "Listen, uh, Jay, I have a good, I have a good owner." It was a funny story because um, so I got all the way out to to London to look at his car. It was kept in storage, and uh, sure enough, we were on the way out, and I didn't know at the time who who was who, who was owning who owned yeah. his car, but I just assumed if it was a friend of the class, it was it was a pro, going to be a pro, the collector or something like that. It was going to be in amazing condition, anyways. So we got all the way out in London and was down in the, 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 the south of London. So we would seem like we were travelling out, but that's where kind of the wealthy people live. Yeah, you know, like yeah you're yeah. going out, out. But like, <laughs> you can hear the fucking money going yeah, up. Yeah, you yeah. See the house is just getting bigger. Like, you get to the point where there's almost the like, getting there's longer. a butler already standing outside <laughs> when you get there. So we went all the way down anyways. And then a friend of mine rang and he said, uh, listen, uh, just so you know, uh, as far as I'm aware, the car is uh, owned by Chris Evans. Stop. Just before I get there. So I'm like, oh my God, like this is, and the, the mechanic who's with me, he's like, oh my God, like this, this is going to be so <laughs> cool. Like we're going to get yeah. to see this guy's private collection of cars, like, you know, and we're already there. Then I make like the biggest mistake ever. Like for some reason I got like total brain fog. Aww. And so the guy comes out to meet us anyways, as you like really nice guy, brings me up to the car and I'm looking at the car and uh, straight away I'm just like, me mechanics like, oh my God, like, and I, I'm kind of nudging the mechanic going, okay, now get in there and get me some money off this car. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, do, do what I'm, I'm paying you to do here. Like, and he goes, Jay, like, I'm not going to embarrass myself by saying anything about this car. It has like 20,000 miles on it. Probably out of the box looking it's, like. Yeah. The back seats never carried a passenger. Oh my God. Like, it's, and he goes, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Don't pay the man and let's get out of here. Right. Like, and I'm like, well, God, that's like biggest waste of money bringing you along. <laughs> but anyways, so of course, I'm just thinking, Chris, Chris, for some reason, I don't know what's going through my head. And I happen to say, 
my God, when I seen him on like uh, Who Wants to Billionaire, Who Wants to Be a oh, Millionaire? No. no, I didn't really think he was into cars. <laughs> And the, the mechanic is looking at me. Chris he's going, Tarrant. yeah, and I don't know why. And I'm like, why would I be thinking about no. him? <laughs> I'm a car fanatic. Why? What? How would I even put the oh. two of them together? Like, you know, oh. cars didn't even correct me. Oh yeah, he's a big, big car man. Anyways, um, here's here's the car. And I'm kind of like, yeah, funny we're driving off in the car. Oh my god, mechanic. Why did you like say? <laughs> I didn't even know he was on. He wants to be a millionaire. I don't like. Oh. He's done it for years, and he was like, "Oh no, I thought you only done like Top Gear and like was, he was a DJ." Oh, <laughs> silence! I was like, "Oh my god!" But oh my god, Jesus Christ! But uh, no, it's, it's an amazing car. So uh, <laughs> yeah. it's like fucking is yeah. anyway. But there you go. Didn't even correct me. Brilliant. Jesus Christ. The we were uh, the last the first the last time I met you was the was friend of the podcast Gordon Gordo yeah yeah, yeah. Gordo's Gordo. here he's always training hard is he yeah he was only in yesterday he on his stretches he's getting into he's, he's getting into kind of functional stuff now he's, yeah yeah he's, yeah. He, he's, he's realizing now, yeah he's, he's realizing the benefits of stretching yeah. you know the one thing that nobody likes to do you yeah. kind of go I'll lift weight for twenty five minutes or forty five minutes and I'll stretch for twenty seconds you know yeah. and walk out but Stretching is the key to to How long are we open? Right? Is it three, four years? Yeah, five years. Is it five years? Five years That's since class. we opened here. Yeah, five years. Brilliant. Yeah, it's gone like by like 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 a blink of an eye. Because I was yeah. down at the one in Limerick. Yeah, right? Limerick is so cool. Like you know, it's it's great. Like you know, Limerick's fine. Like you know, the day I was in there now, it was like the middle of the day on the, again a yeah. Tuesday. Like, yeah, and it sure it was chock a block inside there. Yeah. Like. But it was good because we honed. We we learned. Like you, you, if you wanted, we jumped in at the deep end. Yeah, like we're gonna just open it. Oh no, you did. You know, not even like, half. You went and got a whole building. Like, 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 you know, yeah. like you know, in the middle of a recession when you yeah. couldn't give away a monster gym, they were kind of like these lunatics want the place, just give it to them. You yeah. Know? So we just learned it the hard way, you know. But like I say, we critiqued it, and that's why I think uh, Limerick is flying along. And of course, like. We have Leanne Moore running. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a no-brainer, like you know, Leanne, like you know, going. And she'll just, she'll just she's amazing. Mrs. Fitness. Oh, like, like you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. you know, can't go wrong with her, like you know. Because so. Leanne was running across broken glass, and I told you. It was oh right. yeah, yeah, she'd have a team of followers. First, oh yeah, and they'd be rolling around well, and they, trying to eat it. Well, I ripped it, ripped the piss out of her when she was on the podcast about her inspirational yeah. quotes, like you know, so but, but they, you know, I every, every morning when I open my Instagram, I just want to see that little sunshine. Yeah. An inspirational quote. How come you don't put up? You can do it. You can do it. How come you, you don't do put up inspirational quotes, Jay? No, that's because I could probably get up a lot earlier than uh, <laughs> that hour in the morning. I'm kind of like, I just want to get to work. <laughs> Are you open seven days? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, seven days a week. Yeah, six six in the morning until ten at night. Class. Monday to Friday, and then half eight till eight on Saturday, and half eight till six Sunday. Three six five. Well, of course, we call it Christmas Day now, and Christmas Day and Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we'll still send out a private mail for the, for the hard cargo. Oh, of course, course, yeah, yeah. You know, if you want to meet up around that. Yeah, just before, yeah, yeah. before you have the, the, the Christmas dinner, you know. <laughs> get a bit of a pump on for when you're cutting that turkey up, you know. I need to have... Because you, you were saying that day, because we were we were talking about a pilot or whatever the possibility of. Now, I've never heard... Have you heard it in such a... Like, no, I haven't heard anything from, I haven't heard anything from, uh, from Gordo, to uh, be honest with you. But I have another thing that uh, I have to run by. This yeah. Is, this is so cool, because I've been, I've been back and forth with this with Gordo for ages. Okay. So it's about it's it's like it's gonna be a mockumentary style. Love it, yeah. Um, so I got the I got the the, the 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 script all done up. I've been kind of working on it for a, for a while now. So I sent it off to a scriptwriter and I got uh, um, Gordo to throw his eye over, and he thought it was just so funny, like you know. So obviously it's about a, a gym owner. Okay, who yeah. used to be on TV, right? <laughs> and he's, he's kind of like sees himself as something special, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. and uh, has this uh, has this kind of like. Uh, Real nice to everybody, but super cruel to his staff, you know. Behind closed doors, <laughs> just an evil guy, like, you know. Very eccentric, very, very, very narcissistic, you know. Don't know where I came up with the yeah, idea. Yeah, Jesus Christ. It just, just popped into my head. so abstract. Like, just where popped, did you just get it from, popped like? into my head one day, you know. <laughs> but um, purely because the fitness industry is so serious. It's very serious, isn't it's it? It's so that's why serious. I was, that's what I was talking about with Leanne, like, and how because she's such a, she's so funny anyway. Yeah. She was. I was taking the piss over these kind of inspirational things. Yeah. I said, "Cause that's not really you. Like you're yeah, a good yeah. crack. Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know? But then you know what I mean. Like for me, because I'm a cynical and I yeah. base my life in the world of comedy. Anyway, yeah. I can only see the silly okay. and everything. I came from a carpentry background. I was on site for my entire young life. Yeah. Okay. 
which goes Piss, hand in yeah. hand with banter. If you are, if you are any way sensitive, if you're oh. if you're a snowflake, forget about working on the building. And side. forget about bringing like you know wearing I mean? new gear or yeah, anything. 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 It's going to be pushed in the mud. Oh man, like. forget about it. Like you know. So, but then when I got into the fitness industry, I found it sometimes very hard to to be to be like. But people sensitive, are they? No, I just found that I, I don't know. It was just I think it's because. The fitness industry all of a sudden just exploded. Right. right? Yeah, like yeah. Everything else died. So yeah. everyone woke up and said, well, I'll just go into fitness. Yeah, right. Okay. You know, so. Yeah. And what I, what I think happened was, on, all of a sudden, it just became about who was the most professional. Okay. You know, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. who knows the most intricate muscles? Who who knows how to calculate well, back it's just rows? anorak again, you know, isn't it? It's just anorak. Exactly. It's just being so, so it's muscle nerds, exactly. basically. Exactly. Like. So, so, but that, oh, sorry, that, that's how a kind of, um, that's kind of how, it, so it's so, like I say, it's so serious yeah. that I was like, my God, to have a, like a mockumentary style where people won't actually know if, if it's serious yeah, yeah, or yeah. not, you know? Yeah. But it would be running through the daily, the daily, basically, the, the, the daily goings on in a gym, which are extremely funny. But sometimes the people that are around, they don't see it. So I'd be, like, sometimes I'm biting me lip going, my God, I could say something so uh, funny right now. You know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But even when you break down all the different types of members you have, yes. they don't, be, they wouldn't realise, but the members would actually make the show. But like, the, yeah, the you're di- opening yourself the, to the public, the, too, the, yeah. The diversity of members... That come into a gym are ridiculous, right? Yeah, you know, like it's just. But people would only ever see their own kind of yeah, like the, the exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like the gym, the dynamics of a gym are completely different from six in the morning to the people that come in at 10, 10 a.m. Yeah. The mammies, yeah, the yeah, kind yeah. of like the the guys that are not in work that come down between one and three, and then you have the hardcore guys that are in after work at five. The, you know, the dynamics of the gym are so different, but. Most people will be totally unaware of the different the different groups that actually do go to the yeah, gym. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the variety, like I say, is so funny that I just think it would be such a good. Uh, it would just be such a good uh, mockumentary, you know. Yeah, I like the idea, and it's going to be called Trainers, obviously. Yeah, you know I mean? so, yeah, yeah. Well, I like the idea of of the awkward, like, well, watching through your fingers. I felt yeah. being a dick, like you know what I mean, mm. like ridiculously nice and sweet to everybody else, yeah. like, but just being a total. Yeah, douche. Like you like, know, but with the staff, you know, and like I say, and, and we, I've all the, I've all the amazing scenarios, you know, like who gets to wear the tightest t-shirt, <laughs> you know? like all the stuff that actually does happen. Yeah. But I, yeah, people try and go, oh, that's a joke, but actually, it's serious, you know. Like, <laughs> let's be realistic here, you know. So I was like, how how funny would it actually be, you know? Oh my god! <laughs> I, yeah, I was talking with a guy the other day, and he was a fierce, nice fella, but. I, like he don't was trying to tell me you're not competitive, you know. He was just monstrous, yeah. like the size of his biceps. But then he like it just. But he's he, honestly, I don't know how he got the sh- t-shirt. Well, whatever about getting it on, how it was coming back off again. Like, oh, he was just gonna rip. He was gonna cut it when he yeah, he had was going in the bin, you know. And he was trying to have a serious conversation with me, and I was going, mm. and I had to stop and say, "Dude, I cannot. Your arms are just taking up my whole mm. periphery. I just everything. I just what?" And he was kind of going, I said, just, "Just for this meeting, yeah. could you not have worn a shirt?" Give me just the old chuckle, but inside he's like, Tick. Oh, yeah, I knew he was loving it. Oh yes, but like, <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I don't know what. Like, he's they were the he was the biggest white bloke I think I've ever seen mm. outside of professional rugby, rugby or something. Yeah. Like, he was just monstrous. But it was, it was like the whole world knows you're big already. Oh, yeah. you probably guess, yeah. but you don't have to. Just wear no shirt altogether. Just yeah. wear no shirt because then it's there's pointless what you're wearing. Yeah, <laughs> it was just. But there's, but yeah, I can I can talk. No, but nobody's tapped into that. I mean, there was a. No. There was a kind of a silly leisure centre thing done years ago, all right? Years ago. That's what Gordo actually told me you should watch that. So it's I went very and good. it's uh, British Empire. British Empire. Yeah. 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 So it's just very sharply yeah, Because written. see, I love that type of humour. Well, no, I, I like more the, the English office style yeah. type humour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I kind of like? So, but that type of humour is very difficult to replicate in Ireland because, as far as I think, our Irish comedy is still on that borderline where. They're almost holding up to tell the audience this yeah, is the laugh. You know, yeah, yeah. it's chuckle time. You know, and Whereas, the, problem, the problem is with that. That's what that's who's in TV right now. Yeah, like the TV like they're 
there are gifted people out there with a brilliant but awkward level. That awkward level, that undertone of stuff yeah. where you're going, oh, Jesus, Jesus. that's funny. Oh, but, my God, that is funny. It's, like. it's, it, that's, to me, as close to real-life comedy Yeah, as the, the the chuckle, you know, okay, this, you know that, oh. that's funny. This I, mean, is I, know you know, I know it so firsthand. I know it firsthand. And like I say, because I do like comedy and I like that dry wit that goes with the likes of being on, on the building side. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But then I love I loved the awkwardness type of oh, where... It's amazing. Like, yeah, I just going, love it. Oh like, it's so... God. And I love, like I say, I love when I come across awkward characters, like, you know... Like, but when I, I love when I come across awkward gym members. Yeah, yeah. All you know, like, you I'm know, on the inside, I'm, I'm going, this is gold. I'm, I'm logging all those weirdos I meet too. Like, yeah, you know? Like, yeah, I So inside, that. I'm going, this is gold, you know, but... But yeah, like I say, if if you could just get that onto TV, yeah, I think it would be just. But I think so addictive. I think like, you know? Netflix Ireland are really they're they're going to invest in a lot of money mm-hmm. because they don't give a bollocks. They're creaming money at a rate of fucking knots around the world, so they're going everything's worth a punt. Yeah, Do you know that kind of way they're going. Everything's worth a shot. They're not counting. They're in such billionaire mode right now. They're going yeah. yeah. I think it's funny. Let's do well, it. Well, I have your role already picked, so I know. Exactly, yeah, I know exactly what your role is going to be. I know exactly what your role is going to be. But uh, yeah, no, I just I do like that type of uh, I do like that type of comedy, and I think, like I say, to 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 just to bring that bit of uh, fun to the fitness game because it is so serious. I see it on oh my Instagram, God. and it's like my God, like chill out, yeah, like relax. But like, well, I do. I see know. it. There's there's moments where I'm going, are they taking the piss themselves? Yeah. Like? Because that cannot be that. You can't be deadly, that deadly serious. Like, no. Do you know in what, in what I'm reading? But but there's so many like inspirational comments underneath. They're going, oh, people are buying. It. Oh, come on. Come <laughs> on. Come on. There's yeah. no way. Inside your own head, that pose you're pulling right now yeah. in the middle of a fucking yeah. public. Can... And, like, and I would be sitting at home going, my God, how was, how was that pose like, yeah. giving these guys inspiration? Yeah. You know? Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like there's some guy like, working at McDonald's going, my God, he's my hero. You yeah. know, like kind of like. I think that, I think sometimes if they if if you throw it up just once, no good. But these fellas are once they throw them up these weird pictures and all the rest. But like if they're doing it every single single day with like mm. the better yous, the you you know oh, yourself yeah, and all this shit. Like, like if I see any more of them sponsored ads that come up on the likes of Instagram, yeah. like with the 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 chisel jaw American, is, hey guys, you yeah. want to get the point from point A to point B <laughs> as quick as possible. I'm like, <laughs> you was watching this crap. Yeah. Like, no, you know, like, unfortunately, <laughs> last uh, no, just like who have never, <laughs> never been in the real world at yeah, all. And the thing has like two million views. Yeah. I'm looking going, what the hell? Like, but, you know, because he's thrown up one every day. You see, yeah. if you throw one up every day for a year or even two or three, eventually you'll weed out enough people to go. I think that's class. Yeah. I think that's fucking class nowadays. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm like, where is the humor in nah, it? No like, crack, you know, zero crack. Like, like you know. But then, in fairness, like you know, I, I had this, I had this debate a while ago. You know, in fairness, like when you see a really, really good looking guy, a really good looking girl trying to be funny, it's kind of like, oh my god, yeah, stop, please, yeah. you're too good looking to be funny. There's times, all right, you have to go ask steady the ship there now. Yeah. You were given Come gifts. On. Yeah, God gave you gifts or something you know, else. Yeah, fuck off. Just left like, you with a book and a handsome yeah, before yeah, you were born. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you don't have to do anything. And there's nothing know? more sick than when you see an amazingly good looking person and they are really funny. You're like, ah, yeah. oh. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I bet you can dance and sing as well, <laughs> yeah. you bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you were, and it was carpentry. Where did you just. Mm. Do you, did you go straight into the 16? Yeah, so basically, yeah. Smart so It was, yeah. And then I was <laughs> I was kind of up and running by the time I was... And it was just, like, it, Ireland back then, it was so different, you know. Like, it was so quick. Like, the building game. Like, my... my what, life, you, what, rest, what decade so, were you in? Yeah, so I, I left so I left school in 1999. Same as that. Yeah, you know. So it was like, the building game was such... I remember this is a funny story. So I, I I was going to go to college. You yeah. Know, this is where my mum and dad wanted me to go to college. Well, I was half and half. I was either going to go into welding or carpentry, and the college was kind of the third. And the parents were like, "No, nah, go on." And a couple of the lads, and the thing was, I got into the same course as a few of the boys. So I was like, "Asher, sure look, this is a yeah. session anyway." Yeah. If ever I saw it, like you know, so, that's how I ended up in college. So what happened with myself was I'd already been doing kind of site work from the time I was young at the at the at the. Like on the summer holidays, yeah, labor. So yeah, yeah, yeah. labor for for the uncle, was my uncle's company. Um, so my mum wanted me to go to, to to art college. I was gonna go do animation. Um, so I went to Ballyfermot, and I don't know what it was. It was because of being surrounded 
in that kind of uh, the, the the building industry where even the young guys had money. Yeah. My first day, my first day, I was looking around and it was something as simple as all the teachers looked like they had no money. Yeah, they probably and, it, and that alone was enough to, to swing it out my <laughs> yeah. brain going, I'm not coming back here, <laughs> I'm out here. And it was something just as simple as that yeah. that was like made me go in a different direction because I was kind of like, I want, I, I just want more. You yeah. know? And, and on the other hand, I was the 21 year olds and the 22 year olds who were kind of just qu- who would have been qualified to where I knew I could be in four or five years. Nice cars seem to be wearing great gear, yeah, talking about the holidays. And I was kind of going, oh My god, that's what I want, yeah. And it was as simple, simple as that, that yeah. it just was able to, to, to take me away from. I remember when I came out of college and I was working on the sites and I got given a very senior job far too early, really. But you're looking, you're telling lads who are probably younger than you what's the, what you want to happen mm-hmm. next or whatever. And you, your man's rocking up in a brand new fucking Range Rover. Oh, yeah. You know, you're going, oh, my God. God yeah. Where did I go wrong? When I knew where I went wrong, yeah. like, I should have just went straight to fuck. No, well, Range Rovers, was, that was a bit early. Back back in the day when I was young, it was everyone had the Land Cruiser. Well, listen, you know the Land, 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 land Cruiser. Range Rovers hadn't have been hadn't, no, hadn't hit fairness, Ireland yet. They in were in fairness, it, yeah, it was the Land Cruiser or the, the Mitsubishi L200. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you were a hero. hero. Oh, you were a hero. Yeah, and yeah. if you had the <laughs> solid cab at the back, oh, you were yeah, like, you know, a big dog. You were the daddy there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the D Max came out with Isuzu. Yeah, yeah, and no. the Isuzu and all the lights and oh, the big chrome, big and massive yeah, 19s. And all of a sudden, black and these electric blues and all, like, you know, yeah, like they were the days, like, you know, they were the they were the building sites. It's supposed to be a sight vehicle, yeah, yeah. Minding it, like, yeah, yeah. They were the building sites inside days you know but that's and it was just literally the building game was just such a good it, it was amazing just, like I, I was 20 21 years old and I bought a house ah uh, stop 21 I bought my house at, yeah. stop literally qualified and I never forget the day going into uh, that'll never ever happen again impossible if I was to go and buy a house now they would be like oh sorry like you're not going to qualify yeah 21 yeah I bought a house at 26 yeah, 27, tw- 21. 27, it was yeah. that's it. I remember the day I got in and I was like, my man came with me. Like, all my friends were planning their 24th, and I was kind of like, oh, I'm gonna buy a house, buy you know, house. like a 21 in and, Dublin. Yeah, and the times were just so different, you know, like it was literally okay, you're making this money, this is your deposit. Was that like 2002? Yeah, no, that was no. in no, 2004. I bought my house, or two, two, 2000, yeah, 2004. Only 14 two, years ago, yeah, and you were buying a house at 21, man, yeah, like. Forget about it now, like, mm, like impossible, like you know, like it's crazy, you know. Like, Jesus, and where where was it? Uh, it was actually up in near in near um Sagart, you know where. Oh the, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so but it was mad how the times have changed, you know, like where if and here's the funny one because <laughs> I was like wanting to you know about all these interest rates now, like you ring the banks and yeah. you're like lowest, lowest, lowest. So I was like, this is funny because I was like, okay, listen, I just rang. Uh, I think it was. Uh, I don't know which one it was anyways but I'm like okay I've been paying my mortgage for like in fact 16 years I think I've been paying it for so I've been paying my mortgage for 16 years okay that's good can you send over all your pay slips and stuff now and I'm kind of like don't but I only want to do is you're just going to but I've already been been paying it that's not that's not but, enough enough to like, tell you. what what more can I get? just the, like the, the, the sense of how they they can justify stuff sometimes yeah it's, it's like it's just so Irish you know you're like well, you know, the box is the thing that's advertise, all it is they advertise something as like you know this is so simple yeah change over you know like yeah. and as far as I'm concerned like it's a no brainer like it's, what what more would they want I've already proved yeah that's your long sixteen should, fucking years. years like you know that but yet yeah, no. Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need another eighteen months bank statements of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just carry on, you know, or and you'd be like going, What? <laughs> you know, difficult to make it just difficult. Oh yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. In the end I was like, you know what, forget about it. Like, you know, oh and then we need to send an assessor out and bloody and I'm gonna go, Man, you didn't say all this on the ad. Yeah. <laughs> you know That's it. Like it's <laughs> it's banks like they're them and insurance companies are too do you know what? They're just horrendous. But how the times have have changed to the point where I do, like I say, I do, I do just feel so sorry for the, the people that are trying to, to to get on that market now. Oh, it's, it's not, a possibility, you know. Like the thing is, it it need, it'll it'll just have to go. You just have to forget about. It. Yeah, like, forget about. I, it. I, I like, only had this conversation with Dave and Leanne, like you know, like over like a, to to rent say somewhere now. You're looking between sixteen and eighteen hundred oh, yeah, euros. Yeah, yeah. Which would qualify you for at least a four hundred thousand pound house. Oh yeah, you know. But yeah, yeah. That person was probably only going to qualify for a house for like one hundred eighty grand or something. Yeah, you know, like so. Yeah. But yeah, on paper they're saying, well, 
if you, you can pay this, then yeah. you will be able to pay this. Yeah. But no, it's, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You know, it's it's it doesn't make sense. But it's to, it's to keep the market up. It's like, keep, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're horrible bastards. Yeah. Like they're just. But yeah, like that. Quite, I remember, I remember ringing up for a loan. I was twenty six or twenty seven, and whatever about the house. But this is just for a loan for uh, a new uh, Discovery yeah. Land Rover. Hey. Don't need. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. looking at one of these here, and your man says, "Not a bother, Tom." Yeah. It'll be unique. And I got the price wrong, right? I got the. I needed an extra because for another piece of equipment or whatever that I was getting, sort of in equipment, it was like an extra twenty grand or something. Yeah, yeah. And I rang up the next day. I went, "I was wrong on that number there. I'm going to need another yeah. twenty grand." Your man went, "Grand." And, yeah, and then before you saw it, I was like, "Wait a minute, Tom. There's quite a bit of space in the back." Of the... Do you ever think of financing a, mo- a moped? <laughs> yeah. Do you you know carry the moped around in the back with you as that well. Was, that was. I'm oh, sure I might as well sign her up there. That was where, that was where that it was, was as easy over as it was. Over the fucking phone. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. eating a sandwich or something at the time. Just yeah, going, yeah, yeah, I'll have another bit there. Yeah, as easy as that, yeah. And it's like, no like, respect for money whatsoever. Oh, no, it was literally, yeah, sign away, yeah, throw them up, get get, get, get him to buy a house, get, might as well get a car as well, you know. And where did, uh, what did it, where did California come from then? Okay, so then, yeah, so then, it was funny because we were in the, we all trained in the city west at the time. So we were all up in a, in city west. Gym. So you were only down the road, you're yeah, yeah, so yeah. right across the road. I was in city west for like 10 years, you right. know, right across the road from me, you know. So um, we were going, um, they were doing interviews at the time. Because Jersey Shore and Jordan yeah, Shore. Yeah, so Jersey Shore, yeah, I wasn't a big TV person. So I didn't, I wasn't really in, I didn't really know what the Jer- Jersey Shore or Jordan Shore was at the time. Um, so I was going into the gym and as the members were coming in they had the girl at reception and she was kind of giving the producers a head up because they were looking for a very tight a spe- right. specific type of person you know what I mean because yeah. it had to be a type of person that was going to coincide with the the, 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 the kind of the look of the, yeah. the other shows because they yeah. couldn't just they didn't want it to just be oh, oh let's throw those Irish guys in and yeah. then Somebody they don't train they don't do anything like that you know yeah. and then it's completely away from what the show was meant to be based yeah. around like you know guys who lift weights and are dumb and stupid yeah. and like to get <laughs> pissed yeah, you know, yeah, and girls that wear really, really short dresses, like so, you know, so that's you know, we're not and looking for ten through yeah, the whole thing. We're not looking for doctors here. We're not looking yeah, for, you know, so yeah, yeah. they wanted a very so they were using the the, the, the receptionist was kind of giving them a that's head hilarious. Up, you know? The receptionist yeah, yeah. like there, here comes another shoe one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> us all going in drinking our protein shakes. All right, yeah. you're, you're all wondering why you're she's getting... giving the double wink. <laughs> So you're wondering again, why, why am I doing this IQ <laughs> test again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry about yeah. it, Jay. Drink some more beer. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so we were obviously handpicked uh, to people anyway. anyways. <laughs> so of course, but what, what, what it uh, set it off for, for, for me in particular was at the time I was a stripper. You know what? So, yeah, I, I thought I, you were a dancer. No, so stripping. I, I don't well, I suppose, was, yeah. So I don't stripping for, for 10 years. Literally, I was probably one of the busiest strippers in the country. I literally, Why do I think you were a da- Well, yeah, I suppose yeah. it is a dancer. Yeah, yeah. so d- literally... Hold on, you can't... Thousands you, of parties, like... You can't drive over this without telling me... Yeah. <gasps> and that was one of the best, like... And I, I actually had such a good time stripping, it was ridiculous. Like, and it became... So you weren't part like, of a troupe, were you? No, so I started off... I, I started off doing uh, kissograms. Okay. How did now, you even get roped so into? I was, in, I was in the gym because you can't be more than like eighteen yeah, or nineteen. So I was right? in the gym, but obviously I, I was I'd be very talkative type person, yeah. as you might gather. Yeah. Right? So I'd be the type of, I, I talk quite a lot, you know. So so this guy came up to me and says, "I think you'd be good for doing kissograms," you know. And I was like, "No, we'll get them. No way." Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I never forget it. So he said, "Listen, would you not just come and have a look? Uh, would you not just come and have a look at it uh, uh, and see how it's done?" Yeah. You know? So I remember going uh, and uh, seeing this guy doing it, and now the guy he had didn't 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 train. Right. Wasn't wasn't confident on the mic, and God bless him, had the worst stutter in the world. <laughs> okay, you everyone, couldn't you couldn't write this. Jesus this was like Christ, was you he missing a foot as well. Yeah, like what the fuck is you this couldn't, wrote it? You couldn't write this. Right? He sounds dreamy. So, so the guy who was trying to convince me to do it, he's kind of hiring the gigs out to this guy. You know what I mean? Oh, and he's geez. giving this guy like thirty pound or thirty euro. He's taking a hundred. And he's giving this guy the thirty or the forty pound, right. you know, and he's telling him that oh, well, I have to do all the bookings anyway. So I never forget it. So we go to the first gig, Bally Firm. lovely, right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, it's going in for a twenty fourth, right? So I'm standing at the back. So what's the what's the so the kissogram? The difference between the kissogram yeah. is the kissogram is about reading the poem. The kissogram is about having crowd interaction. Okay. It's about personal information on the the hen or the right. baby girl, and your Putting into a poem and embarrassing her, and then right. you you do the dance at the end. Do you know what I mean? Okay. But it would be thirty percent dancing, 
and right. 70% pulp. Okay. Because yeah, it's yeah. crowd interaction. Because that's typical Irish banter. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Well, so that does sound to... kind of funny. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, they, they're, they're, let's let's be honest. They, are, they don't want like a, 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 an Adonis coming in. Do you know what I mean? They want someone that's just above there. Yeah, now, okay. Yeah, still yeah, not, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But Hannah did a bit of attainable, like, but yeah. still class. Like, you know <laughs> exactly, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it kind of like if you're too good looking, it's not gonna work. For you, you know, so it's perfect for me. Right. So I was like, so anyway, so I go in anyway, and I'm standing at the back, and of course he has the poem. And straight away, and he gets the girl, and the girl is sitting on the the, the seat, and he's like, eh, da, da, da. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> kill me, <laughs> right? And I go, give, 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 give her a big cheer, everybody, oh. and everyone's like, yeah, one or two people, right? And I'm like, sweet lord, right? So I call her, said, the poem that normally takes like about five or six minutes, right? <laughs> 15 minutes later <laughs> and the, 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 happy birthday and everyone's like get the calls off yeah and I'm like oh my god right so I'm like oh my god and every of course every single people that weren't even involved in the party had to come over and have a look at this guy right. and of course they're all shouting abuse and the guy is still going I can see tears now welling up in the guy's eyes you know but anyway <laughs> I'm like please god let the guy be in shape when he takes the jacket because yeah. at least that can Shut them up yeah. a little bit, you know. So I'm like, please God, let the guy be in shape. Well, my God, it looked like the guy had never <laughs> even set foot inside the gym, and tufts, like, tufts of hair, like <laughs> the bracers of the of the uniform were like embedded. He was almost trying to dig them out, and I'm like, and because the, the, he was wearing a fireman uniform, it was sweating, and he black, sh- <laughs> like it was ridiculous. The hair was glistening, lovely. So of course, lovely. she's like. I'm not touching you, <laughs> and, he, and she, and then, and then I'm, I'm like, and then she's like, eh, 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 and she's doing, and it was like, it was just like, <laughs> like you'd get over assault now. Thank God, Instagram and all, like, yeah. camera, ca- thank God, camera phones were around back then. Like the, the poor chap would have had to leave the country, you know. But anyway, so we came out, and of course, your man there says to me, "Well, what do you think?" <laughs> Like what in, do you think? In a positive light, yeah. like, you know? I was like, the man just got heckled for 20 minutes. Are you serious? Like, the, 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 I wouldn't step foot outside the house. Oh, no, he's just, he's just not really that good at reading the poem, you know? And I was like, mate, no. No. God, no. I have to go back to a building site on Monday morning, like, you know? Yeah, if somebody God, finds out about someone this, finds like... out, God, God help me, you know? So anyways, a little bit of time went by then. And then he said, oh, Jay, would you not just try one? And I was like, right. well, of course, I'll give me the poem. Because I'd be very... Uh, 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 when I was in school, I always used to do a lot of acting. Right, yeah, yeah. And I used to do a lot of plays. I actually do. Used to, I used to be in plays with Emmett Kieran. No, Emmett. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, I went to the same school as Emmett. Right. And I used to do be in a lot of plays. So I used to like acting. Do you know what I mean? I used to like it. It was a bit of fun. And that's kind of what you were portraying when you were doing the Kiss Grams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all of a sudden I'd be quite like I'd be quite qu- quiet, but you'd have to become an eccentric. Yeah, of course. To to, to control the. Cause that's a character. Like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you're playing the character, you know. So once I got the microphone, it just became easy for me. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, and then I realised, and I remember doing, doing the first gig, it was all cheer, and I was like, but the uh, the adrenaline, it was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It was so addictive. I was like, oh my God. From the minute I done the first one. And what was it? What was your it, first my gig? First, I never forget, it was a hen's party in Malahide. Right, yeah. And I went all the way up, and it was just my luck. She was like six foot two. Right. Marrying a rugby player, right? right yeah. Of course, I'm like barely five foot six, standing on a two inch step. <laughs> you and right? I both, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm and she's wearing heels, and I'm like, and so I get to the, I wouldn't mind. I get to the door, and I can see her, and I was like, is she standing up in the DJ box? And your me mate's with me. He's like, no, she's just standing on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so I ran up, and just the humour came out of me. So before I even started it, I was like, hold on a minute. I ran over and grabbed the stool. <laughs> and I dragged Brilliant. the stool over and the minute I dragged the stool over the crowd didn't hate me anymore yeah 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 you yeah. know so yeah. that was it was that quick it could have went either way from it yeah the, but that one decision of being willing to make a fool of myself yeah yeah made them accept me and that's yes, and, that's and, what all Irish people want yeah you, you know to be as much of a maggot as those like, exactly yeah. you know so yeah he's coming to be a stripper he knows he's a short arse he's grabbed the stool over yeah, your woman is like high tower, you know, but, and the gig flowed. Brilliant. And because it was so f- much fun, I literally came out of that gig and I had like 10 gig, ten more gigs booked, you know, from people seeing. Because Kissograms oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hadn't been, had, hadn't been 
Yeah, like they were only barely starting to take off back then, you know, like yeah. Plus, it was kind of you were the stripper. It was still the old school stripper that was coming in. It was which was usually a foreign guy who couldn't speak. Yeah, He'd strip off everything, be hitting everyone in the face with his bits and pieces. <laughs> but it was to a select crew, so you couldn't get him. To, you couldn't get him to turn up for a twenty fourth with Granny McCarthy and yeah. my dad. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. then I was this balance. Oh, it was this balance that was in... But well, you could the, read the situation exactly. too, like... I'd be reading mean? the situation, you know? Plus, and then it progressed for me. All of a sudden, I was doing 40, it's 50, it's 60. It's got to the point where they were booking me for, for every gig. And so, and before I knew it, 10 years had passed by. Because Jeez. I was booked out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was ridiculous, you know? Jesus. Yeah. Oh, you're just all over the country, like? All over the country, yeah, yeah. How what, like... And it was just so much fun. Because Monday to Friday, I was working flat out as a builder. And then I got to go and have, like, and the lads, every week, the lads would be, like, every Monday, the lads would be doing just normal stuff. Yeah. And they'd be like, Jay, where are we? And I was like, oh, I was in Kilkenny. Then I went to Carlo. Then I was in Port Leash. <laughs> and some of the gigs I was doing, I was getting more, like, I was making the gigs more fun to the point where I'd be dressing up as a girl. I, I remember pulling a, a bus over on the next road one time. <laughs> pulling a bus over on the next Stop. road. I'm talking Stop. to them. Yeah, the hens were coming up from Cork. And I'm talking to the, the girls on the bus, so I know which bus. Now, I'm already one. This was the old one. There was the old night nice road. The way, so the way they, in by the Green Isle or something Exactly. Like. Just before. We know where the lights used to be. The yes. Traffic lights, so, because the traffic kind of slows down yeah. there. So I was planning and I'm waiting on this. It was only when I got there, I realised just how many buses go up and down. <laughs> and how, how many of them <laughs> all look the exact same. The the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm there. On, I'm waiting and I'm waiting. Okay, what was it? Anyways, go out, pull the bus in. And of course, uh, typical Irish. So I'm on the bus and I'm like... Uh, Pretending to find, uh, I pretend to find some hash on one of the, the girls. You know, of course, the other girl starts panicking. I'm like, listen, I have your fake radio and all. I send the paddy wagon up here. Girls, bus is going nowhere. Hen park's cancelled. And of course, getting all, oh, what's, what's going on? Of course, they're all trying to, to yeah, get yeah, involved, yeah. you know. Of course, I get the hen. I was like, listen, you can make this go away, sweetheart. And she's looking at me, what? Get her hand and I just slide inside. <laughs> and then straight away it was it was on, you know. Like, you didn't want to go to that party myself. <laughs> you know, man, it was on, but it was that type of stuff. That made it so much fun. Brilliant. You know? And I remember another one I was doing before. I was a chef, of course, and it was a, a chef. Yeah, yeah. Why not? So I'd, I'd already arranged it with. Uh, I'd already arranged it with uh, the, the the girls, and of course, one of them was to complain. So we 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 purposely gave her an. Un- this is brilliant. Yeah. So we purposely gave her an uncooked uh, steak. Right. You know. So of course she's cutting into it and she's like, oh no. And she's really nice the first time. Then it goes off and comes back and it's still the exact same, you know. Just we turned it over. Just to do something. Like and so she's trying not to get, but then of course when she does complain, we go, we'll get the chef out. So of course I come, I come out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look at like a chef, you know, and I'm standing over with me hat and all. And, and she's like, listen, this is just not acceptable. You know, like, you know, I've sent it back three times right now. And I'm like, I appreciate that, sweetheart, but I don't care. And straight away, I could see her face change. And she's like, <laughs> the, 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 the typical, the face went and yeah, she was ready yeah. to go. And as she turned around, then I just sat on top of her. You know? And of course, then she's like, oh, what's going Magic Mike is yeah, on. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, it's, and it was on. The hat comes on, you know. But I loved that. I just loved it. I could, and everyone used to say, you should write a book on uh, on just all the different interactions I've done. That's you unbelievable. Know? Like one of, one of the funniest ones I remember doing was I'd done a 70th job. We're going to get keep harping on but I don't know. No, I want to hear more yeah. about strippers. So when I, am I ever going to meet another male stripper? Yeah, and it was just and another, it was just, as if I was, was one. Yeah, and it was just the fun. <laughs> like I say, but I I done another one before, and this one was this one was so funny. I was doing a seventieth. Now come here to me, listen to me while I have you there, just to let you know if this is your first time tuning in. I'm available on all uh, all formats. Hit subscribe on whatever one you're listening to right now. If it is iTunes, why not hit an old uh, give us an old five star? If it's less than five star, you're feeling. Don't worry about it. Leave it off. It's as grand. And leave an old comment too. Apple have been playing the absolute dickhead at the minute and have not um, have they deleted a load of my uh, load of my reviews. So let's try and kick the living shit out of Apple and see can can we get the reviews back up. Uh, also, you can find me on any other sort of social format platform, whatever you want to call it. Tom O'Mahony Comedy will find you the whole lot between Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. On Chatty Snaps, I'm Tom Bear O'Mahony. Uh, other than that, we have a Patreon page here with Buckshot. Patreon, if you haven't heard of it, is essentially it's a it's just it's basically a website you can go to, and if if you're getting uh, stuff for free and you like what you're listening to and you want to contribute to the show, i.e., we buy better gear for the show because this is going to continue. I'm just going to get better gear and better stuff, for, and I'm going to start filming it the whole lot. 
I have some videos to put up and everything else. Um, there will be a exclusive stuff coming. There's a bit of a plan in place for exclusive stuff purely for Patreon patrons. And you can get to that. I'll put a link in the bottom of this. But anyway, you can get to it through uh, patreon.com forward slash Tom O'Mahony Buckshot. So, back to the podcast. Right. Stop. I was doing a 70. Oh, it's hard. Good stop. Yeah, right. So, and it was out, in, it was out at the airport in, uh, I think it was the Radisson Hotel. But anyway, so I'm reading, uh, and I'd be always aware of all the information yeah. before I go in, because I would be one of them that I'd have to learn it all, because, uh, do you know what I mean? I, like, I want everything to be perfect. You want to yeah, give them a yeah, good yeah. show, do you know yeah. what I mean? And the, sh- the, 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 the confidence comes from how you speak. Yeah. You can control the room by how you speak. Yeah, of course. You know, like, so, so you want to you have all your bullet points, you want to make sure you're on top of your game, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And even if, like, I, I used to have all the, like, at the start, when I used to do it, you used to get the, the typical some lad would be shouting something at you. Yeah, of course. I had like a million rebuttals. Oh yeah, the throwbacks. I had yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. so and that would die down after a while. You yeah. know, like, you know, but anyway, so I go in and I was reading and that was just a massive Westlife fan. Like massive. Right? right. So I'm like and it, apparently she'd met them at her like sixtieth or so, right? <laughs> so I was like, Oh, okay. So I'm reading this and I'm like, okay. So anyway, so I run in anyways and uh I run in anyways and I'm in the white suit and I have the sunglasses, the the, the top the top gun type yoke and of course all our family are around and I have their sit I have her sitting on the seat and uh and sure enough anyways, I'm I'm reading out the, the poem and I have her arm around because she's sitting down, you know. And I'm like, Right, come on everybody, give her a big cheer and next of all she starts tugging on the side of my uh, on the side of my jacket, you know. Right. So I'm kinda like, Oh what, what I'm trying to listen to what she's saying and she's she's saying to me, How are the twins? What? How are the twins? Right? And I'm going, oh yeah, they're, 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 they're great. Sweetheart. It's not a metaphor for something. Yeah, so she was I, actually so, thought you had twins. So, yeah, so, so I'm like, this is really weird, but I'm still continuing on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I'm reading out the poem. And then I can see the people in the crowd and I can start to hear them whispering. She goes, oh my God. She thinks, she thinks you're running. Nikki Bourne. Nikki Bourne. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, and they're going, oh, she thinks it's Nikki Bourne. She thinks it's Nikki. Because at the time, I used to have my hair uh, yeah, spiked yeah, across yeah, the yeah, side. Yeah. And so I'm like, then I tweaked it. Right, so I'm like, oh, they're great, darling. They're great. <laughs> and, then, and then, of course, she goes, I can't believe my family got me Nikki born. I can't believe it. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, neither can I. But wait, you see what else is going to do? Oh, you were like, yeah, of course. I had to even speak that, you know? So, <laughs> Nicky Martin's in shape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I ended up stripping, I ended up doing the gig anyway. But like I said, it wasn't, that, was, that one was done completely different than the way you're doing. Like, I didn't have her down there. Uh, on her knees eating a banana, yeah. as you can imagine, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. The whipped cream didn't come out of that. No, one. I probably no. would have had to get. I would probably had to get a bowl and mash mash the banana <laughs> up for her, maybe, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, but they were fun. Like I say, they were. They were. It was. But the the the, the, the experience I had doing that. <coughs> but when I so getting back to how we got on to that point. So when I was coming in, it was that was just the unique selling point for them. Yeah, they were like listen, it's he's, a great backstory. Yeah, man. yeah. And so then they were doing interviews. They were going around all the guys in the gym, like like I say, hand picking uh, the smart ones yeah <laughs> so then you'd have to go down and you had to do a little bit of an interview and uh, at the time i was kind of like listen I, I i won't be right for for the show and they were like oh why straight away and they were like oh why and they were like well you have to do specific criteria so straight away they were like oh well are you married and i was like no single and they were like oh do you have kids and i was like uh no and they were like oh or, or are you gay and i'm like no and they were like i was like oh, what i was like i don't drink alcohol Right. And straight away they were like, Oh like what do you mean like like sometimes or and I was like, uh No times. No like never. Yeah. <laughs> like like never. And they were like, Oh but how like how flexible are you on that? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, like no flex. <laughs> yeah. Zero flex on that, like, you know, so they're like, Oh, okay. I said, So I'm telling you right now I am not going to be right for your show because from what I've heard it's based on His heads. Yeah, exactly, you know. So they were like, Oh, okay. I said, but what I will do for you is the guys that you're going to get are obviously going to be super confident. They're going to be in shape. So I think a good episode would be if they come out stripping with me and all of a sudden we throw them into a 40th in the middle of Fingless or Ballymore. <laughs> and then you'll see how confident he is, you know? <laughs> and, then, and I think it'd be just a good episode. Yeah. You know, because you will see how confident someone is then. Oh, yeah. Like, you know? Like, you know? And they were laughing and they said, that's, that's actually sounds like it could be a good idea. And so I went about my business and then I couldn't uh, believe it about two about two months later because they were still doing interviews. They were going around a lot of other places. They rang me and said, Jay, would you like to be in the show? 
and I was like, but I don't, you know, I don't drink now. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we think it, uh, we think it could work purely for just for the dynamics of the lifestyle that you've already, you, you've led, you know. So yeah. Plus, at the time, I think the the, the other shows were getting so, such a backlash over the uh, all the drinking. Yeah, that yeah, it was yeah. almost like well, we have a safety net in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, look, look how good we are. We have look one that doesn't drink. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? But and but they never they never touched on that. But then when the likes of Simon Norris and all just so happened in Ireland, they did get a backlash on it. And a lot of TDs and a lot of people oh, were yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were all jumping on the bandwagon. Then TV3 were actually able to go, well, actually, hold on, we've actually an Irish guy in there who's, who's never drank alcohol. Yeah. And, you know, and, Great it, was, fallback, yeah. and it was a really, it was a nice little safety net, you know, but. How long did it, was it two seasons? Yeah, it ran for two, yeah, two, two years. Oh, it was just an insane time. What was it? Like, I, I remember yeah, seeing so it, but it was what, just, were you all living together? Yeah, so basically, I remember we all, they, 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 they met you, they, we all met a TV tray and we were told, okay, you're going to live in a house now for like six to eight weeks the first time. Um, and what like, did work think of it about this? Oh, well, it, it, for me, it was like, go ahead. Because at the time, the rest of them, here. Do you hear the, the criteria? None of the rest of them are working yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> they were all like, I won't be down the door office for a few weeks, you know? Yeah. The, the rest of them, yeah, none of them were. So I was, uh, obviously, That's what I mean. I it was handy for me. I was just like, the boys were more for like, oh yeah, do you know what I mean? Why not? Like, see, you know, see you in two months. See you in two yeah. months, you know? Yeah, go and party. They you know, know there'll be serious stories if not now. Like, exactly, yeah, yeah. you know? So it was perfect for me. I was able to just to just, just head away. So anyways, we ended up to the house and it, uh, Literally, just cameras are set up exactly like fly on the wall stuff. Jeez, like you know, right, like yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah, it's there's some serious money behind it, but it sounds like so oh, they, at the time, yeah, yeah. TV three aren't doing that now. No, no, like, they paid wasted their whole budget on that show. <laughs> <laughs> they let a load of layoffs <laughs> after that show. So yeah, no, so they they went all out because you have to commit to it. Like you know, you do have to to commit to them type of shows. You know, yeah. And so basically, yeah, nothing. Like they, they they spared no expense with the likes of like I don't think they were anticipating how much these guys were going to eat. <laughs> Yeah, like you know, and how much they could actually drink, you know. And now, in fairness, yeah. at the time, a lot of the nightclubs were trying to outdo. Each nightclub was trying to outdo the next nightclub, right? You know, so they were getting the drink was getting more and more, and the guys were like they were putting it away, you know. But it got serious viewers too because oh, yeah, TV was, just... was mass. Like TV now in the last two years has gone yeah. to shit, like because nobody, yeah, yeah, nobody's no, watching TV. No, TV and that like. was that was the pre kind of Instagram, yeah, pre YouTuber where people still watch TV. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, it was just It wouldn't be weird to get a four hundred, five hundred oh, thousand. No, 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 sure. It I was know. the first if you actually if you actually go and view the, the records, it was the first T V show to mm. be the late late show in Stop. like fucking fifty years or something. Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Like that's how many people tuned in on the first Because it was extremely un Irish too, wasn't exactly. it? In that way yeah. it's like Jeez, so we have these people doing mm. Do you know what I mean? Because vanity it's oh, it's yeah. based around vanity is what yeah. I suppose it is. But and like I, I say, vanity once you are a certain amount of humour involved, you're oh, not yeah. just good looking, you know. Yeah, oh no, like, but that's you know? that's the thing, like it's it's even funnier yeah. when somebody takes like you could tell you could never took yourself serious, you were always up for the blackguard and Dave was up for the mess too. Mm. Cormac they edited him no. amazingly. No, because he was perfect. He was perfect. perfect. He was so fucking you know, straight. He like, came across weird. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like no, going, oh. people had to get. You and they're to, editing him. Nailed they're to, nailing yeah, his editing. You have to know him. You know to know yeah. that this is just how the guy is. But if, like he's just a normal guy. But yet when you're edited in a certain yeah, light, and you you're ask you're the like, right questions, this guy is for okay. Yeah. You know, but yeah, <laughs> everyone wants to see it. You know, because he is your stereotypical. Big, beefy, knee head. Yeah. And now he's just taking all the other boxes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, and it's like, yeah, you know, I can have fun watching this. I guy. did see him walk into the three arena who sat beside me with him. About eight women. Yeah. All yeah. Of, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you As are, you, do. you yeah. are selling the notion people have of you yeah, anyway, yeah. brilliantly. Because yeah. on all them women, put combined, I was wearing more clothes. Than oh, yeah. Were, like, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy. You know, and that's, and that was why it worked so perfect you know like I say and because it was that pre YouTube pre where people still actually watch TV <laughs> and at the time people forget that like so there was that was when kind of all this digital channels had kind of really taken off yeah. as well but there was still all the people down the country oh man still had like your RTE 1 and, and your TV yeah, trees yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so like it was yeah. uh, it was a free station as well where, like even that like there wasn't on the likes of Sky and all the rest of it there's, there wasn't enough to draw you away from if something good Irish oh, no, lights was on the Irish channels exactly. So even if you had them, you go, I watch that because yeah, you know. So, there, so it got it got really good. Like it got to the point, like literally overnight, <laughs> air lives air lives changed. Like it was ridiculous. Like I wouldn't have at the time. Facebook was kind of what was kind of like it was the main social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember waking up five thousand friend requests. What? Like 
I'm like, what the hell? Is, like, this is insane. Like, that was how quickly it just progressed. Jesus. <laughs> like, you know, to the point where we were just going to, we were doing club appearances, and at the time, club appearances hadn't even taken off. Like, really? No, no one was doing club appearances. Do you know what I mean? Club appearances were like, to only had, pro- only, they don't even test. They had washed the, up footballer, maybe. Exactly, <laughs> but they don't even test in the water a few months previous with the likes of the Geordie Shore guys. Right, yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But then the Irish one, like I remember if you, if you were to go and ask the guys in Bray and the Martello, that was our first one, they said, we never seen that like it. It was ridiculous. Like the, the place was at capacity on like a tour state to meet the California crew. Like they hadn't, it was ridiculous. I still remember it was getting out, getting out of the car and you're going in. This is like ridiculous. Are you, yeah. the, were you, were you the only one that was actually from Tallinn? So I remember, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it just dawned to me that it was called California. Most of, them, most of them were like pissed for the whole three years so they probably didn't remember as much yeah, of it. Yeah. But I remembered every detail. I remember going to nightclubs and looking and seeing a queue going all the way down the stairs so around real. the corner to me someone that was on like a reality TV show you know like so, uh, unbelievable. like really weird experience like, but yeah at the same time you're just going like I'm never. this is never going to happen again but at the same time you were thinking oh it's going to be five minutes like you know what I mean yeah. it'd be typical Irish but then a year had gone by two years had gone by three years had gone by and was that the point where you still couldn't go anywhere like everyone was just wanted to talk to you you know and most of the time it would be Ah, uh, how's Carmig or tell me about Nikita or what's Phil doing, you know? <laughs> Plus, I had the other added advantage that I had done stripping for 10 years. Yeah. So I had people always coming up to me. You know, my brother, sister, Sandy's baby's girlfriend's 24, do you remember? <laughs> you're, you're a fireman. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I, I'd be like to everyone, no, well, yeah, I do remember it. But, and it was funny though because because I, it's different how alcohol affects your life. Oh, stop. I can remember millions of specific moments because. I don't know. It's just when I think when you've had when you when when you're used to alcohol, things can not be as clear. Yeah. I can remember specific moments on nearly all the gigs I done. Probably done a thousand parties. Jeez. Like and I can be very specific, and it's purely because I think I used to have to memorize so much of their information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I do remember specific gigs. You know, like even. Let's say if you're trained, like I suppose that if you're trained any muscle, but you're trained your brain to go. I need to log this. I need to log this in the book. And then it never really goes away, like. Mm. And plus, you haven't been boozing, so it's, it, those cells haven't been burnt up either, like. Yeah, and then so I, I, I would, you would be constantly talking to all these people, like you know, and no matter where you'd go, and it was just a really surreal, um, like it was a really surreal time. You know what I mean? Like to to be on a TV, and it was just the ultimate in fun, like you know. I can only imagine. Like it was just ridiculous, like you know, <laughs> like we do, we be talking about it, like you know, and I'd be like, Jesus, do you remember how, like even. Like, at the time, when we went away to Spain for season two, like, you're, we're in Spain for six, seven weeks, and all we have to do is party. Were you getting paid for this? Yeah, yeah, they were getting paid. Yeah, you're getting paid. To, to go and party. <laughs> you know, although I actually remember some of them actually complaining and going, oh, I just, like, this is hard work, like. Like, you know, like, lying oh, in the sun, <laughs> getting paid to tan, then we have to go party, to like, oh, no, I don't want to go out, like, you know. Like, but now when they look back, they, they talk about it, and they go, like, what? they would give to go back because at the time I think they thought it was never going to end because they were looking at the Geordie Shaw show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was just grown and grown and grown. Yeah. And then all of a sudden TV3 changed hands. Yes. Changed yeah. owners. Changed changed direction. And the, this, the, the new guy came in. Ben left. Um, ben was all about uh, the, like reality TV. Yeah. And then the new guy came in and said we're not doing season three. And we were all ready to do season three. We're not doing season three. I want to take TV, tra- I want to put my own stamp on it and I want to go in a different direction. And he was all about buying shows. Right. Yeah. He was all about buying shows. That's gone well. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and it was so many articles. I remember, because we got to know so many journalists, so many photographers, because it was an endless. Yeah. Like people forget that California was the most wrote about TV show for two years. It was in the. It was in. Yeah, I can it was, remember every newspaper every, would have something. Could, like you, they could not get enough of telephone for two years. So you got to know all the journalists. You got to know all of the the, the, the photographers, and then. Did you ever spot any shit written gone? No way. Oh no! So I used to get me. We used to get me. Oh yeah, I used to read loads of. But at the start, right, we were always told that. Uh, Listen, don't worry about the stories you're going to read, right? Because, and I'd read loads of stories about why was the easiest to write about at the start. 
Yeah. Because I was a stripper. Yeah. And everyone could get access to, oh, I, mean, I seen him do a gig. So at the start, it was easy to write about me and there was a load of, uh, like, some, not bad stories, but the, the, the stereotypical womanizer type uh, story of course for, for, yeah, for, yeah. you want me to sell yeah, it's going to yeah. sell the show as well you know it sleaze the story yeah but I, I yeah. didn't really like I didn't but then it was funny because then them they had done a complete U-turn because they realised man he's the sober one yeah <laughs> you know like, the, yeah, the guy doesn't the even drink, drink yeah, you know yeah. like you know so so for me it was just funny to see it come full circle you know but you did get to know all the the, the journalists but I, and I remember one of them actually saying one time uh, at TV3 he was like man I why have they? Why didn't they just stick to being TV three? Yeah, you know what I mean, like you know, like the Irish Independent doesn't put a page three girl on. You know what I mean? Yes, and yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Sun doesn't go and let's do let's do loads of business exclusives. Well, that's you the, know that's the, the Sun knows what it does well. <coughs> so why doesn't it just stick that's to that? And why didn't and why didn't TV three just stick to what it knows? So you many know? art forms are the same way. When you get you get a, a guy or a woman in and they go, I want to put my stamp on. It's like no, no, mm. shit ain't broke. Yeah, if there's a if there's a solid spine in a thing, mm. you can tag on your own stuff to make it your tenure tenure that you spent mm. there would be known for such and such. You don't have to like the wheel but, is round. Yeah, like around, at the time, like yeah, it yeah. was, it was, and it's funny because even if like there be people listening to this now and they were like, that show was a load of shit, but you all watched, they watched it, it and they all talked about, it, but that they did, they don't. They're the type of people that don't realize that that's what the show was about. Yeah. It was something to talk about yeah. while you're in work it's not with to, your friends it's and not laugh. To be educational. No, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's and it's there to make you feel a bit better about yeah, yourself. Of yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, at their expense. Yeah, you know, but we get it. You know, but but some people do get it. You know, but the majority of the Irish didn't get it, but they still tuned in, so it still got the ratings. It's still, you know, yeah. but like I say, that's we weren't there to be. Brain surgeons, you yeah. know, like you know, but it was there, and at the time, six hundred thousand people were unemployed. Two thousand and twelve, that was the yeah. register hit its highest. Jesus, Everybody yeah. was watching TV, you know, nothing else. Like there was nothing else too. Yeah, there was everyone tuned in on a Friday. Uh, that was it. Was around the time where nightclubs were not opening on Fridays anymore. I remember that. Like, yeah, because it was not justified. People were not spending money, you yeah. know. So people were sitting at home with a few cans. Watching California, yeah, <laughs> like you know, probably California parties. Yeah. Why not? That, that's way, and that's the way it went. You know, when it was at a time, like I say, the, the country has changed. It's come fully out now. You know, and it's it's on the rise. Like you know, oh yeah, yeah like yeah. you know, but that's like even when 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 stuff comes up on my feed now, and you can see people talking about, it and they go, "Oh, do you remember that shit show?" But everybody watched it. Yeah. But then people are actually forgetting at the time, the dynamics of the country were completely different. But th- on top of that, and you see. You can cut like if you say oh, it was a shit show, and you say, "Well, why was it a shit show?" Mm. Well, it was. You no, know, you don't know. That was an, like it those was shows. To be those fun. shows are amazingly written, are yeah. well well edited. Yeah, it they're, was... they're actually a crafted piece of, of yeah. stuff because prior to their like most shows had a would have a script. Script then is acted out and then is given to the editor, and he's like, "Okay, we can arty up this okay. bit." But that yeah, that shit takes. A team of okay. really so smart I remember people. Talk, and you got to know all the you got to know all the the, the producers and the cameramen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because we had a strict uh, no no talk policy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, so you ruin yeah, you no ruin. because what they didn't want to ever happen was just say you did know the cameraman's name was Phil, or whatever. They didn't want a scenario where you're deep in a fight with someone and you could go because you're drunk. Phil, tell him I didn't say that. So it wants to be flying the wall. Yeah, right. So yeah, we yeah. never, we never had that communication. Now that was different for me yeah. because there was some mornings where I'd be up at seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm sitting there eating my cornflakes, and the cameraman's get, and I'm like, Phil, unless I start choking on these fucking cornflakes, you're, you're not getting, getting, you're <laughs> yeah, getting that. Like, they're not going to get up for another five hours, you know. So then all of a sudden you'd be looking at it and you go, oh okay, and then it, so then it actually became well. Actually, it's all right. It's all right to talk to Jay because okay, yeah, <laughs> because he's a sober one. Yeah. He's, he knows what's going yeah. on all the time. Like I'm never going to. That's never. It's never going to 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 get away from me. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I ended up, and then I started getting into the logistics of asking them how the show works, and they were telling me for every twelve hours of footage, we condense it to two minutes. That's phenomenal. Twelve hours, two minutes. Yeah, there like, you go. Twelve hours of filming us all day long was two minutes. Of airtime, Jesus! Like when you okay, so you need a twenty-six minute. It was probably an hour show, was it? Uh, no, it was thirty minute shows. Thirty minutes, yeah, th- thirty minute shows, and then they had this. They, they only had one break. Whatever fifteen times twelve is, that's how many. Yeah, Jesus! 
Mm. So, like, there was a lot of editing. Like you say, they were... And, and Were you ever looking at a bit going, you know, somebody's having a row or something major is happening, you're going, that's cool, let me open Oh, I'd, yeah, no, yeah, I'd be going, like, lads, lads. Ah, I'm off to bed now, that's today's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's today's episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the can, lads. Okay, alright. Lads, I'm off to bed now, that's today's episode. <laughs> Lovely. Because that's the way it would be. Like, you know, it's like it'd be non stop, you know? And the first time they done it, they made it very, very tame. Because Ireland was not ready. No, 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 no. no. Like, it was not ready yet. Yeah. Like, you know, like, the, and the, the guys that they had in the show were very, very confident. They knew, like, there was no holding back. They, you know what I mean? So they had to actually tame it down because they were sitting back on, actually. Like, we're looking at the backlash we're getting already just from promos. If yeah. we actually put this in, we'll actually, like, we'll all be saying the rosary. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, so, like, so they did make it extremely tame <laughs> as to what actually happened. <laughs> but then they let it, they let it a little bit, they let it go a little bit more in season two because that's what happens. Yeah. The, the, the audience expects more, you know. So then when we went away, it was more extravagant. It was, the budget was quadrupled. You know, like we're all in Spain, we're in. The advertising uh, around it during the ad breaks. Oh, the the the, 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 the what you call it? The the the, the, the house we were staying, the villa we were staying in was like four or five million euro villa. Jesus! Like, and we weren't even in Portland. We were up in the hills. Like the house that was across from us was owned by Steffi Graf. What? Like you're talking like that's where all the rich, like, and the king, the the, the king of Spain, like this, where where we were staying was in the hills where a lot of all the wealthy people stay. You know what I mean? And then we were commuting up to Santa Ponza. Right, yeah. yeah. So you were actually staying in a class bit. Oh, we were staying in like going up to. F- oh, had its own jetty, and it's like you know, like ridiculous. And like, I'm busting you to the kit then. Yeah, and then they bring us, they bring us down to Santa Ponza with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Celtic jerseys. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. That's exactly it, like you know. But so yeah, because it was nice and controlled, we had all our security and all, you know, like. But they they really didn't anticipate of just how much of a re- well, they got a taste of what it was like for us. Yeah, but the first night we arrived, oh, I never forget it. So they had like a table set up outside in one of the bars on the strip. Ah, Jesus! Right. So of course we arrived down, and of course like there's like eight of us as it is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you have another eight cameramen. Do you know what I mean? And you have the sound guys. You totally know? conspicuous. Like, oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah like totally invisible. <laughs> like you know, pretend that I'm here. Like you know, and uh, of course, and then we had like like twenty security guards. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As well, and they're all trying to be invisible. And they're all like eight foot tall, right? <laughs> and then they go. Okay, guys, just want you to walk straight down the strip. Look like you're having fun. <laughs> yeah. Because every single drunk Irish person just comes running over, yeah. trying to get Cormac in the headlock, uh, trying to jump on Phil's back, you know. And they're like, oh, we're all standing there going, this is not going to work. Like, are you? So then, of course, they go, okay, forget, scratch that, scratch that. <laughs> just sit outside. So we're sitting at this table outside the, 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 outside the pub. And of course, like, okay, guys. And they they normally throw something in to to to, to get the conversation going. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, let's talk about the trip. But let's talk about the airplane ride over. And then you would have to. Well, what do you think about that airplane ride over? And that's how the the conversations would Jeez. develop. Do you know what I mean? But of course, we're sitting there, and there's all about a thousand Irish people around us trying to throw drink, <laughs> trying to get their phones out, and they're like, "Be normal," and I'm like. I'm, I'm like, I just want to get out of here. Like, yeah. you know, and all the rest of this, all the rest of the crew are just like, go, this is not going to get us inside. Are you for real? <laughs> like, and then they realised that it was going to be an awful lot more to harder to That was control. night one, was it? Yeah, because <laughs> they wanted it to be normal. And we were like, it's not going to be normal. Like, it's not going to be normal now. Like, everyone that's over here on holidays is going to want to try and get onto the show. And they're all in Bananas Land. And yeah. they're all out of their faces. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're all going to want to try. If you and think about it, whether you're into the show... Santa Ponza. Yeah, <laughs> even if you're the show as big as hater, if you're on your holidays and you have a chance now to get on the show that everyone is watching in Ireland, what are you going to do? Whatever it takes to get on that show. You're getting your flu down, basically. Is, yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? So you're going to, they're going to go... They're going to be even more extreme than any of the cast. You know? So that's what we had to deal with the entire seven, eight weeks here there. Like, oh my good Jesus. What, what an experience, you know. You'd be sitting there going, this is just crazy, you know. Yeah, yeah, trying to quantify that in your head because you're like, okay, mm-hmm. so normal life, normal life. Jay getting the plane there with the other. Uh, yeah, we're going to film you but, and it's just going to be landing. Yeah, and it was funny because, and that was it, was, it was after season one that I said I'm going to open a gym purely because it was actually that hard for me being back on site. It was a little bit annoying, right? So what had happened was the show was just massive. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
and all of a sudden everyone knew who you were and I went straight back to a building site because I was the only one working. Yeah, right. Uh, Dave was working in, the, in, in City West as a, as a PT. So I went back and of course... 80% of the people I had to, I, I met on the site because you're with your own groups and all they were they were like Jay tell us about this and you're, I was holding up lumps of plasterboard for say hello to Mary you know but well, like this yeah, you know <laughs> with me hammer in one hand on me plasterboard happy birthday Mary <laughs> <laughs> but on the, on the other hand though I, then I had to deal with the, the, the nasty side yeah, of, of course, the Irish yeah, person yeah. which is the guy who even though I'm a fully qual and I'd be a, like a projects manager who's waiting to get that picture of me holding a sweeping brush so we can say to all right. his mates here's yeah. Jake from California guys look at him yeah. oh you know that so, kind of brush like, yo, yeah. yeah look at him you know like you know but so you had to deal with a little bit of that and but one of the funniest ones was I was working in a school in uh, Waterford right. right so we were building an extension all girls school Yes. And at the time, of course, I'm working with all the lads, and the lads are like, uh, they're all from Kilkenny, and they're like, uh, that really into TV, so they were kind of like, are you serious? Because they were listening to the younger guys saying, Jay can't walk anywhere, it's ridiculous, you know, we want to see what it's like in Dublin for him, like, it's crazy, because I was bringing them on nights out, yeah. and they were just blown away, like, like cute people queuing up to talk to you, like, it was ridiculous, you know? And they were like, oh, you should see what it's like for Jay. Of course, all the outfits. What do you think would happen if all the girls knew that Jay was here? And I was like, no, boys, don't. I just want to relax. I just want to get me work done. Yeah, 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 you know. So, of course, we're going for a break one day. Of course, typical, the lads beeping in the van. Hey, girls, it's Jay from California. Of course, they were like, what? Then as soon as they kind of, re- oh, it was him. Every day on break, all the 13, 14-year-old girls <laughs> over at the fence. <laughs> and they're like, Jay, Jay. And I'm over at the picture, like, getting the pictures, because phones were only kind of, yeah, everyone yeah, yeah, had yeah. a phone back then, but it was good. And I'm there getting, and of course then, get a phone call, or get a yoke, uh, will Jay, uh, we'll get one of the guys, Jay, they're, they're asking for you there, to, to go up to the principal's office, and I'm like, get the, I'm like, this is taking, you, you messing, the project manager, who was over me, he's like, no Jay, we actually have to go up, I was like, what, because I'd heard, we were upstairs, and I'd heard a load of shouting, at, uh, earlier on in the right. day, wasn't a girl after like, trying to get under the fence, and a JCB, like literally trying to get a picture. Jesus. So, and they were like, yeah, you're gonna you're just gonna have to you're gonna have to leave this like and I was like this is so funny Are you joking me? Yeah yeah because they were like it was just You're a hazard. Yeah hazard You're, you're a right? hazard Yeah yeah <laughs> And I was like this is fucking gas like, what do you, yeah, you I gotta know? I gotta start my own business So I was like I, I wanna do something else like you know I'm like so if I go back to do season two I'm gonna open my own gym. Yeah so I went to Dave I was like Dave I'm opening my own gym and he was like uh, Oh do you think so? And I was like yeah hundred percent what better platform have we got? Yeah, so there's got to be a million people watching the show, man. Yeah, <laughs> like let's let's give it a go. So let's make up our own brand, promote it, pretend we already have a gym. Because because I'd gotten used to how production worked and all, I knew that I had about eight months to a year. Were you getting ready like with like sponsors and bottles and everything to yeah. drink them in shot well, that's, like that's the whole? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we made up the brand. So when, before we really? before we flew out to Spain, we went and got four t-shirts made up. <laughs> Every, every day on season two, I would make sure a different lad wore a Go Gym t-shirt. <laughs> so that the entire time the show was on, people were actually... Because Twitter was Twitter was kind of the big one then. Yeah, people yeah, were yeah. only getting into Twitter, you know. And people were saying, what's this Go Gym? We could see on Twitter people saying, what's this Go Gym? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. we still hadn't told people that that was me and Dave's... Going to be me and Dave's brand. Yeah. You know? And that was how we done it. We, we, we put it out there. And then when we came back, we went to the bank and we told the bank that, listen, we've already advertised our brand. It's going to be, of course, the minute you walk into the to, to the bank, they knew who we were. Oh, it's off California. Brilliant. And yeah. of course, if they're on TV, just give them the money. You know, like, you know. So, Excellent. You know, and, it was, and everything just, because when people know you, things happen. Like, Ireland is still one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's who yeah, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. You know, totally. it's it. You know, it's who you know. Because it's so small, it's who you know, like, you know, and then. If you don't know the person directly, you'll know someone who knows our mummy. Yeah. You know, and then shit happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, and so it's, it can work that way, you know. So when you're the face and you're, you, they, they, they actually think they know you. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, give them the money. Well, you're more trustworthy. Yeah. Than that. And, like, you know, you're t- there to talk with your business plan and they're kind of going, eh, so what happens in season two? Uh, <laughs> when I keep going over this business plan. Uh, yeah, but uh, season two, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it's funny how, like, it's mad, like it's it's hu- typical human interaction as well. You know, what I mean? oh yeah, where, 
So yeah. it's it's you you and Dave. You start yeah, with this yeah. one here in yeah, Greystones. Yeah, yeah. And then when did Limerick come? Well, how, did, how did you pop into Limerick? I suppose Dave and well, Leanne yeah, as Leanne, well. So Leanne, um, obviously Dave, <clears throat> uh, Leanne is Dave's fiance. So basically... Um, we were we want we wanted to do a second gym for for a good while yeah and um, but we always said listen we have to critique we didn't want to just go and open a, a second or a third or a fourth yeah without knowing like you still have to hone you still have to learn your trade you have to learn all yeah. the logistics of running and owning a gym yeah you know so we wanted to make sure that we could do it better and do it more efficient so we wouldn't because at the end of the day it's trying getting money but you still have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Because yeah, your yeah. name that's signed on the dotted yeah. line, like, you know, it doesn't work out well, it doesn't matter, like, you know, you're still going to have to pay. Yeah. You know, so it's just, so we wanted to critique it and then Leanne brought me down to uh, Limerick and her and Dave had looked at this unit and it was, it was a bad unit. A few pl- people had looked at it but right. the, the cost to reform it was, would have been, oh, at least two, two, three hundred thousand, which meant that yeah. the investment you're on the back foot already. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't have it, from a business point of view. With the time you invest in your equipment, it wouldn't have paid, you know. So yeah. Leanne brought me down, and the minute I looked at it, I was like, "Yes, this is it. This is doable." Right, and like, we just stripped the place out, and and that was it. Rebuilt it all up. Savage, because it and looks like, but it now that it is where it is and how it looks. Jesus, it's some look. You can't help mm. but avoid it when you're round mm. that roundabout. Like, it's like, oh, yeah. right, okay, perfect. So, uh, yeah, and it just works. And like I say, Leanne, everyone knows Leanne and Limerick anyway. So you're on the, you're already on the, you're I've already got one for four. Oh yeah, of course. Like, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it was just it was fun. Like I say, and we loved the on the the I love the gym game. Like I say, it's it's fun. And plus, you might you're gonna end up probably with a sitcom out of it. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> like that would be like yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's not gonna be based on me. Like, you know yeah, I mean? no, absolutely. Like, I mean, it's, it sounds yeah. so abstract. Yeah, and all the rest of it. Someone total narcissistic psycho, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, Dave and Leanne, apologies if you did get a slagging at any point during yeah. this. Well, we're not really that sorry. No, no. <laughs> no. Gee, thank you very, very it much. It was a pleasure, Tom. Thank Great you stuff. Good. And that's that. Thanks very much for listening. I'm back again on Tuesday with another Ramble Pod and Friday with another guest. So, like I said, hit subscribe, hit like, send us a comment, tell everybody about it. Catch you again next week. Look. Look.